everybody knows that the best kind of dashboard to have in Home Assistant is the one that shows you all that mission critical information about the hardware that you've got running in your smart home environment. So in this video, I'm gonna go through what I am using to give me that kind of information. Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek. So getting information about the devices, the computers that you've got running in your smart home, whether that is you know, something like a Raspberry Pi that you've got running Home Assistant, or maybe you've got a NAS uh, set up in your home network, or you know, maybe you've got kind of like a rack of computers as well. Getting the information about those, the health of them, uh, you know, and surfacing that onto a dashboard can be really beneficial to making sure your home network and smart home in general runs as smoothly as possible. So um, I'm going to go through something with you today that is uh, free monitoring uh, software that you can use and you can you know install it on these devices and you can use it in Home Assistant as well. So I'll go through what I've currently got set up, um, you know, how to install it and just kind of, you know, a couple of ideas of how I'm using it uh, both on my dashboard and in automations as well. So if we just quickly take a look at one of the dashboards I've got set up in my Home Assistant installation, and uh, you know I've got one which is set that displays various uh, details about the hardware that I've got running in my smart home. So you know I've got my Intel Nook, which has got Home Assistant running on it. I've got uh, a, an Unraid uh, NAS, so that's got you know quite a bit more detail. And you know I've got a couple of other devices on here as well. Now you know I'm not exposing all the entities that I could possibly use here um, onto this dashboard. You know uh, what you will see in a moment. Uh, you will see there's an awful lot. Um, but some of these you know I am grouping together. So for example the, uh, the hard drives. So my NAS has multiple hard drives. Um, but at this moment in time I don't need to see an individual hard drive capacity. Uh, you know, the availability of space. So I've grouped that together into one value that I see uh, for the NAS. Now there are some integrations available in Home Assistant that allow you to kind of get very specific device information. You know, you get uh, an integration for, for example, a, a TP-Link router or something like that. And, you know, you'll be able to see kind of the network uh, transmission and um, you know the memory usage on that device but that's an integration that is very specific to that device and you know that's different to uh, you know in the way of um, retrieving that information that's completely different to what we're talking about here um, so what I'm talking about is uh, a piece of open source software called glances um, which is uh, by they go by the name Nico Largo on uh, github and um, you know this basically uh, allows you to run um, you know this software on you know either you know a docker container um, you can run it in home assistant uh, you know you could run it on you know a Linux system something like that and it will give you that kind of uh, you know all the hardware related uh, details that it can find uh, into into one kind of like aggregated view and um, you know, you can then expose all of that to Home Assistant. Now, what I will say is, you know, there is a, a lot of detail on the GitHub page, uh, but you really don't need to go into all of that detail because it, it is quite straightforward to get set up. Um, you know, what it does do is it, it kind of exposes to you almost like a terminal view uh, of, of information. So very similar to kind of the stuff that you might see within a Linux environment, um, you know, when you look at some of the status of information uh, available there. Now on my Unraid NAS I have Glances installed as a Docker container and you know if we just go into the UI you can see that kind of terminal style view. You know it's got all the details about the hardware, all the different drives, the capacities, the temperatures of the CPU, uh, you know the network transmission details, all the processes that are running, errors that I've got, uh, you know, on the on the actual hardware it's, itself, in in the way it's communicating, you know, it's full of information. But uh, unless you like looking at terminal views all day long, um, you probably won't really want to use that necessarily to put into a Home Assistant dashboard. You know, you probably want something 
uh, you know, a little bit like uh, that that I've demonstrated earlier on in the video. So how do you expose this information to Home Assistant then? Well, basically you go into your integrations in Home Assistant and search for glances. Uh, you'll get a pop-up come up where you just got to type in the IP address of the machine that is, um, you know, where your uh, glances instance is running and you know, specify the port number as well if that is different to kind of like the default. You can put username and password in as well if you've, uh, you've you know, gone and set those up. Um, but for the purpose of this, you know, that's what I'm entering at the moment. And you choose your area and um, you know, it is all set up then. So you get uh, a whole list of the entities. It's a little bit easy to see it in the kind of, um, you know, the device view, but basically, um, you know, each instance that you've got set up uh, running uh, glances is, is a particular device in the uh, glances integration. And, you know, you can see all the different entities here for my NAS. There's absolutely tons of stuff. There's like over a hundred different entities of information. Some of it you're probably never going to use, but if you really wanted to go to town on a dashboard to monitor uh, your devices like that, then, you know, you can absolutely do that with this kind of information. And because, you know, the information that comes back is real time, you know, it's very easy to go and, uh, you know, set up your cards on your dashboard. Uh, you know, to go and alter the state based upon those values that are coming back. So I've got a tile on my dashboard for the CPU temperature of my NAS and, you know, very easy to go and say, you know, if it reaches a certain temperature, then turn the card orange. And, you know, if it goes even higher than what I would like, then the card would go red. So that's it running on my Unraid NAS. What if I wanted it running on my Intel NUC that runs Home Assistant? Well, it is super simple to do that as well because it's available in the add-on store. So, you know, in, in order to install Glances there, you go through to your uh, settings and add-ons, search for Glances, it's there in the list and you just click on install. Some of you may recognize the name here of the author. Um, I think he's fairly well known within the Home Assistant community, but uh, yeah. You know, it is a fairly well established add on. Um, one thing to note when I set it up and started it after a very short period of time, I got an error in the log uh, for the add on um, that said, you know, I needed to disable protected mode. So just be mindful of that and the implications of doing that. Um, but, you know, once you've disabled it, it is up and running pretty straightforward. And as you can see, when I go to the web UI, I get the same kind of terminal type view with an awful lot less detail. So this particular uh, Home Assistant instance is actually a, uh, a VM running on the Unraid NAS. So it, obviously it sees the detail regarding the VM itself. And just like with the Unraid NAS, I can go into the Glances integration and I can go and add the Home Assistant instance of Glances, uh, same kind of details. And you know all of those entities then are surfaced through to Home Assistant and I can go and add those onto my dashboard as well. Now, as I showed you earlier, you know, you can go and change things like the colors and stuff like that on your dashboard according to the, the values, but also, you know, another real powerful thing that you can go and do is to go and set up a notification to go and ping your mobile phone. So I'm just setting up one here whereby if the CPU temperature um, you know, goes over a certain value for a certain period of time, then it's going to send a notification to my mobile phone uh, to let me know that the CPU is getting a little bit warm. You know, I could do that for a number of different things, you know, whether that's, uh, you know, disk space running low, uh, you know, as say CPU temperature, really whatever is exposed from glances, uh, you know, you can then go and set up a notification off the back of that. So there you go. That is what I'm using to monitor the hardware in my smart home. Oddly enough, this was something I came across whilst I was, uh, you know, tinkering around with my Unraid NAS. Uh, you know, somebody was looking for kind of like monitoring software to run on that, and this was mentioned. I'd never heard of it before, um, but, you know, I'd love to know, have you ever heard of Glances before? Are you using it? You know, how well is it working for you? Um, you know, have you, you know, found any problems with it? You know, let me know down below. If you've never seen this before, is this something you intend to use? You know, can you see this as a as a benefit within your smart home? You know, whatever you've got set up there, you know, let me know down below in the comments. Uh, but if you've enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.
Bye for now.